The Rover Jet 1 was not a helicopter, but its revolutionary gas turbine engine became a crucial stepping stone in the development of modern turboshaft engines used in rotorcraft. Built by Britain's Rover Company in 1949 to 1950, it was the world's first operational gas turbine-powered car, showcasing technology that would later transform aviation. Rover's involvement with turbine engines began during World War II when the company was tasked with producing Frank Whittle's pioneering jet engines. After the war, Rover engineers, led by Maurice and Spencer Wilkes, explored adapting turbine technology for road vehicles. The result was Jet One, a modified Rover P4 sedan with its four-cylinder piston engine replaced by a gas turbine. The car featured a mid-rear mounted engine with air intakes on the sides and exhaust vents on the rear deck, mimicking jet aircraft design. Early tests in 1950 revealed a top speed of 88 miles per hour and zero to 60 miles per hour in 14 seconds, sluggish by modern standards, but impressive for an experimental turbine vehicle. In June 1952, Rover sought to prove the turbine's potential by attempting speed records on Belgium's Jabeca Highway. Engineers stripped weight, improved aerodynamics, and upgraded the engine to 230 horsepower, pushing Jet 1 to a record-breaking 152.691 miles per hour, the fastest a gas turbine car had ever gone. This achievement highlighted key advantages of turbine power. A high power-to-weight ratio, the engine weighed less than Rover's standard piston engines, smooth operation with fewer moving parts than conventional engines, and multi-fuel capability. It could run on petrol, diesel, or kerosene. However, despite these innovations, the Jet 1 had major drawbacks, including extreme fuel consumption, 5 to 7 miles per gallon, severe throttle lag, delayed acceleration response, and high exhaust temperatures, 400 to 550 degrees Celsius, which ultimately limited its practicality for mass production, but proved invaluable for advancing turbine technology in aviation applications. These limitations made it impractical for mass production, but the technology directly influenced aviation. Rover's work demonstrated that compact gas turbines could be adapted for vehicles, leading to the development of turboshaft engines for helicopters like the Bristol Sycamore and later military rotorcraft. Rover continued turbine research, even entering a gas turbine-powered coupe with BRM at the 1963 Le Mans 24 Hours, where it averaged 107.8 miles per hour. However, by 1965, Rover abandoned turbine cars due to efficiency issues. Today, the original Jet 1 is displayed at London's Science Museum, while a highly accurate replica, Jet 1R, was built in Austria in 2021, proving the enduring fascination with this pioneering machine. Though never a helicopter itself, Jet One's turbine technology became fundamental to modern rotorcraft, proving that innovation in one field can revolutionize another. The Rover Jet One was more than just a record-setting car. It was a testbed for turbine technology that helped shape the future of helicopter propulsion. Its legacy lives on in the turboshaft engines powering today's advanced rotorcraft, making it a crucial milestone in both automotive and aviation history.